Hello everybody, John from Copper Wi-Fi, and we're gonna be looking at how to upgrade the Unify controller from version 4.8 to version 5.06. So Ubiquiti just released this a couple days ago, so our cloud key is at 192.168.1.12, but I'm gonna show you, we actually link this up, we can go to unify.ubnt.com, uh, put your username and password in, and mine's already entered, and you can see our domain here, we've linked it up through the cloud uh, version of it, click launch site, and it uh, sends the username through SSO um, through to the network uh, and it gives us access. So here's our 4.8 version of the uh, software. And to upgrade it, um, we're gonna go down to maintenance, which is under settings on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen there. And these are our site settings at first, so maintenance on the bottom left of this then screen is where we find our cloud key firmware and cloud key controller, as you can see here. So right now we're on, um, we have an available version for firmware and an available version for our cloud key controller. We'll click check for update on both of these just to make sure we have the right one loaded here. And I'm going to go ahead and click uh, cloud key firmware. And you should note that if you do the firmware, you're also gonna get the controller software as well. You don't have to do both. If you do the firmware, you get the controller software as well. So I always like to start paying. I'll speed everything up for you guys. So we just lost access to our cloud key controller uh, as it's rebooting and, and upgrading the firmware and, and the uh, cloud key controller software. So it's just the cloud key that went down. We still have internet access. We still have access to our gateway. So I'll uh, bring in a ping that I've been running here to 192.168.1.1. This is the default VLAN of our gateway. And of course I can ping Google here as well. So a little bit later, these uh, pings are going to stop because I'm actually connected via Wi-Fi to our demo lab and I'll speed everything up here. Uh, so we'll, it's gonna automatically upgrade those in a minute here. So the cloud key's back and I'm gonna move uh, those uh, ping windows out of the way here. Just give me one second, there we go. Let's get these out to my other screen and I'll come back and I'll close the settings here. And the cloud key controller is back, so let's go to uh, unified.ubnt.com. We'll just refresh that page. And it says the device is offline, so please try again later. So that was going to the routed domain. Still says it's offline. And if we select it, it still says offline. So let's try and hit the IP address that uh, directly. So let's go to 192.168.1.12. Okay. And you can see here that it pulls it up. If we click manage, it starts to load and then it dies. So I'll bring my pings back in. Basically what happened is uh, I lost Wi-Fi connectivity because I was connected to these guys. So I'll speed this whole process up, reconnect to copper Wi-Fi, and I'll get my uh, cloud key controller back and I'll get access to my gateway again. And we'll log back in uh, just by refreshing this page. And here is our 506 controller right here. If we refresh our page on unify.ubnt.com, we do see that the controller is back up um, and no problem. So let's go ahead and log in. My username is admin, password admin for our demo lab here. And we'll get in and get our first look at the 506 um, controller software. And we can obviously see it's a little bit more graphical. Uh, we have a lot more information on the dashboard page. Deep, deep packet inspection, which we checked on in our last video, is now on the bottom right, and we can see how much traffic we've been using uh, across the board. Uh, clients, devices at the bottom as well, and they're really putting a huge em em emphasis on the latency and the throughput of your internet connection so that you can uh, help diagnose problems that might not be on your LAN but might be on your WAN. Uh, we can uh, go through these and hover over and submit more information comes up. So. Uh, on the left here, we have dashboard, clients, maps, statistics, and insights. If we go down to settings, we can check and make sure this looks black instead of white now. You can see deep packet inspection is checked, so that's why some of that information is coming in. Under maintenance, current version 506, scroll down, everything says up to date instead of now uh, an available update is no longer there. So let's go ahead and check, click for update, just make sure we have everything. And a little checkbox comes up. That's kind of nice instead of just the button uh, going through and coming back to its original state indicating that it's done. So one of the things I'd also like to do, this is kind of after the fact of the video, 
I'd also like to show you what the cloud key looks like on the back end. So if let's SSH directly into it. The username and password for this is root and UBNT. So SSH root at 192.168.1.12 and then UBNT is the password. And that's defaults. So I'd highly recommend changing those. Um, in order to check out the version, we do lsb underscore release dash a. And that'll tell us our Debian release of this device. It's version uh, 8.4 Jesse of Debian. So remember, there's three different components here. We have our firmware release, we have our Debian release, and we also have our controller release. So let's just make sure that our uh, Debian release is up to get date. We'll do app get update, and it'll go check the repositories and dependencies and make sure that everything is up to date. And this just takes a moment. Uh, reads the package lists and just make sure that everything's current. So let that finish here. And after that's completed, we need to do apt get upgrade. Just to make sure that if there was anything in the uh, in the repository uh, that was downloaded, that we can upgrade those. And on our controller, nothing is done. So zero upgraded, newly installed zero. So we'll exit out of there. That's it. That's how you upgrade the system. Take a look at the SSH into the back end. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and definitely enjoy the new version of uh, Ubiquity's uh, Unify software. Have a great day. Thanks.